hi, this is Stacy with Sit Stay with Stacy Slade with my boy Ash, who is a young male, and we're here today to talk about giving things back that we shouldn't have. A lot of people have asked me what to do when their dog steals something and they can't get it back. We all have these experiences of chasing our dogs around, saying, don't touch that, don't touch that, give that back. Well, Ash here, who's almost two, he's really good at that. It's one of his special skills is stealing my shoes or my glove or whatever. Uh, these videos, do they look familiar to you? Well, that's Ash. So how I've worked with Ash is, if you've noticed with dogs, if you yell at them, they're not gonna come back to you. If you get mad, they really don't wanna come near you. So the things that you would like to do are usually counterproductive to getting the dog to bring something back to you. So this is the technique I've been using with Ash, is if he gets something, I give him a treat to trade. So we do the trade game. It looks a little bit like this. Ash, come here. Ash, give me my glove. Come, sit. Wait, wait. Good, wait, good job. His favorite thing to grab is my shoe. He got really excited when I brought it out. I don't ever give this to him. It's not a toy. I try to keep it put away, but I also know that it's my fault if he does get it, but I still would like it back. So the biggest thing and the number one thing is I always have treats on me. Whenever I walk out my back door to where the dogs usually are hanging out or with my dogs outside, I have a cookie jar full of dog treats. He's asking for them. A uh, cookie jar full of dog treats for the dogs. This is just a reflex motion. Grab treats as you walk out. You never know what's going to happen. A rabbit could be out here. You could have something bad happen. You could have a shoe that you want to keep them away from or you know, an animal like a baby bird in your, your yard that you want to keep them away from. Always have treats. It's just going to help you in the long run with everything might see if he can do this on camera. Odds are he won't. So I throw the shoe. Get it, buddy. I, yeah, I'm asking you to go get something. Go get it. Go get it. So he likes the shoe. Sit. Good boy. So he knows our game is to drop it and I give him a treat. 100% when he grabs something, even if I don't have treats on me, if I'm caught without treats, I run back in and go get them before I even try and engage with them because the proposition is, if you bring it to me, I will give you a treat. What I always do, keep food on you, have the higher reward for the treat, and you might they might get excited about jumping around. I have a good sit or down command. So wherever they are, I stop them from going anywhere. See, now he's gonna grab the shoe to get the treat. I sometimes will tell them to lay down or to sit and then I will go and he'll drop the toy. I will give him a piece of food. I tell him to wait. I go pick up the glove or the shoe so it doesn't become a reoccurring game. Pick it up. Then I come back and give him the treat. So that's how I do it. The other thing you could do is distract. You could get him doing some work or, you know, some fun healing or another toy that they like too that's appropriate that's always an option too. Treats are what has worked for me because my dogs are highly treat motivated and we work a lot with them. Hey buddy. Yeah, good boy. Happy training.